After all efforts by doctors to keep this boy alive were not successful, he gave his family a moment that would last forever. The last minutes of his life are like a scene from a movie, but this is no fiction. Here is a fairy tale that truly happened. At the age of three, Nolan Scully was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma in November 2015. This unusual form of cancer affected the soft tissues in his body. According to reports, such a condition is believed to generally occur in childhood. When his parents, Ruth and Leonard, heard the news, they were so terrified and heartbroken, they couldn't believe such a thing could happen to their precious little boy. They had initially thought he was just suffering from a stuffy nose when he had trouble breathing. However, his diagnosis revealed that wasn't the case. Doctors then informed them that their son would have to go through a series of tough treatments to fight the medical condition. The little boy spent over one and a half years undergoing different, exhausting treatment regimes, such as chemotherapy and radiotherapy. However, even though he had a tumor fully taken out, cancer still got to his lungs and was damaging his body. Unfortunately, despite all efforts to keep the young lad alive, he sadly passed on on February 5th, 2017, at Georgetown Hospital. This was a difficult moment for his family, but what were his last days like? After his awful death, his mom shared the story about how life was for her lovely boy on Facebook. Two months, two months since I've held you in my arms, heard how much you loved me and kissed those sweetie pie lips. Two months since we've snuggled, two months of pure absolute hell. I will always remember you as our perfect boy, and I hate that you had to leave us so soon. You brought so much joy into her lives in such a short time. I'm sure you've made the people around you happy in heaven, because that's who you are," she said. She admitted that even though those days were particularly tough for her and her husband, the last moment she spent with him showed just how special he truly was. On February 1st, she went with Nolan to the hospital for the last time. She had a feeling that his illness had become worse. This was because she noticed that he had not been eating for days and he was vomiting constantly. At the hospital, they sat down in front of his doctors, waiting to hear what they had to say about the case. The American mother revealed that when her boy's oncologist spoke, she saw true distress in his eyes. He disclosed that an updated computerized tomography scan revealed huge tumors that were tightening his heart and bronchial tubes. According to him, the boy's cancer had spread so much and had become immune to all their treatments. What the doctors told the young boy's mother next broke her heart. They informed her that all they could do was keep Nolan comfortable while his death approached quickly. The woman couldn't hold back her tears as she went back to her son's room. She sat down by his side, placed her head against his, and they both had an emotional conversation. She disclosed that she asked her boy if he found it difficult to breathe and if he was in so much pain. According to her, he told her yes. However, she told him even though his cancer sucks, he wouldn't have to fight it anymore. Nolan's reply made her shed more tears as he spoke with excitement. He said, but I will fight for you, mommy. She told him that her job was to keep him safe, but she couldn't do that anymore. She told him that the only way she could keep him safe was in heaven. The little boy asked her if she would be right there with him. She said, absolutely. You can't get rid of mommy that easily. Isn't that remarkable? Ruth was with him throughout his last days at the hospital. According to her, they played, smiled at each other, and watched lots of videos on YouTube together. Even though it was clear that he wouldn't live for long, the plucky boy was still optimistic and full of life. He went on to discuss what he wants his funeral to look like with his mom. I asked if he wanted people to be happy or sad at his funeral. He looked at me confused and said, Happy? Why would anybody be sad? His mother said. Amazingly, the boy who was nicknamed Poot by his parents didn't stop there. He also made plans about his will. He split up all his belongings and made sure that his family got his lovely cheese balls, the stuffed animals he loved, and other things he owned. The boy also wrote down that he would love to be remembered as a policeman. Now, the last few hours this adorable boy spent with his mom were truly remarkable. On his last night, before his mom went to the bathroom, her son asked that his uncle Chris stay with him while she was away. He then smiled at her as she shut the door and left. At this point, she never knew what would happen next. When she came out, she saw her son's medical team gathering all around him. Her heart skipped a beat. 
The doctors told her that her son had sadly gone into a deep sleep and his right lung was no longer working. He smiled at me. I shut the bathroom door. They said the moment the bathroom door clicked, he shut his eyes and went into a deep sleep, beginning the end of life passing, she said. She immediately ran to be with her son, sat on his bed, and placed her hand on the right side of his cute face. It was at this moment that he did what she never thought was possible, like it was a miracle. Nolan took a deep breath, opened his gorgeous eyes, turned his head toward his mom, and he said to her, smiling, I love you, mommy. After he had been pronounced dead, Nolan made sure he told his mom he loved her one last time before he left forever. Ruth was stunned but emotional at the same time. She was in tears. She couldn't believe that her boy came out of a coma to tell her how much he cares about her. She would never forget that moment she shared with him. Unfortunately, at exactly 11.45 p.m., her courageous boy passed away while she was singing, You Are My Sunshine, in his ear. After his death, the young boy who wanted to be remembered as a cop got his wish. Guess what? He was honored by the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Office. He was made an honorary sergeant and a patrol cruiser was decorated for him. He was also escorted by ambulances, fire trucks, and dozens of police vehicles when he was laid to rest on February 10, 2017. For his mother, she believed her son died a true hero. She disclosed that he brought different communities as one and made a huge difference in the lives of people around the world. For her, he was a fighter who passed away with love and dignity. Even in his unfortunate situation, he would sometimes get up from his room in the hospital and go comfort other kids who were crying or frightened. Without a doubt, he was truly special. She revealed how her brave son refused to leave her side while struggling with cancer at the hospital. He didn't even mind lying down on the bathroom floor waiting for his mom to come out of the shower. In an initial picture she shared on his Facebook page, their boy was on a bath mat. The picture was taken just before he left home so he could start his grueling chemotherapy treatment. In another photo, which was taken two months after his death anniversary, the bath mat could be seen, but this time, the youngster wasn't there. She captioned the picture with the words, Now I'm the one terrified of the shower, with nothing but an empty shower rug now where once a beautiful, perfect boy laid waiting for his mommy. Unexpectedly, the post she shared about her child went viral. This made her happy, because all she wanted after his death was to raise awareness about childhood cancer so that other kids don't have to go through a similar experience. She also hopes that there could be better funding, treatment options, and research for the illness that affected her son. Even though the Leonard Town boy is no more, he would continue to be remembered as a lovely kid whose desire was to protect and serve people. Nolan is truly special, as his life was very impactful despite being so short. What do you think about Nolan's story? I can't wait to read them in the comments. Till next time, stay safe.